For my uh, inaugural professorial lecture, I'm going to be talking about um, nitrogen cycling and how we might manage excess nitrogen in the environment and some research that I've been doing over the last 20 odd years looking at both natural removal of nitrogen from the environment and also looking at ways of enhancing uh, the transformation of nitrogen in terrestrial systems and in aquatic systems back into the atmosphere. So essentially trying to understand how we can work with microorganisms to decrease the environmental impacts of excess nitrogen. What we're really interested in doing is finding ways to enhance the removal of nitrogen as it leaves agricultural systems but before it reaches sensitive environments like aquatic ecosystems. So if we can understand how to work with microbial processes that convert nitrogen to nitrogen gas, we can avoid nitrogen inputs into systems that would be sensitive to too much nitrogen. People could come along to this lecture if they'd like to learn about nitrogen cycling, um, about the global impacts of excess nitrogen that's moved away from agricultural systems, uh, if they'd like to learn a little bit about how nitrogen cycle is completed in a, in a natural process, and then how we might work with uh, the microorganisms that are responsible for this transformation of nitrogen back to the atmosphere and how we might work with those microorganisms in agricultural settings at large scales to enhance nitrogen removal and complete the nitrogen cycle. So I want to take people on a tour of global nitrogen cycling and particularly a group of organisms called denitrifiers which can convert nitrogen that is trapped in a terrestrial aquatic ecosystem and transform it back into the atmosphere where it's going to have less impact on uh, sensitive uh, ecosystems. It'd be great to see you at uh, my lecture on the 21st of May at the Gallagher Performing Arts Centre. Um, I'll be very uh, interested to hear any questions that people might have after the lecture. So again, it'd be great to see you.